It's because it's my... Welcome to International Orientation Day. Well, it's not international. Welcome to Orientation Day at Harvey Mudd College 20 class. Ah, oh, my day. <laughs> Welcome to Harvey Mudd College Orientation Day class of 2027. So I just need to put some sun cream on my face and let's go. Zoom. Hey. Kind of. This is our dorm, it's outside our dorm. This is outside. Uh, this is outside Drink Ridge. Oh Hello! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we're heading to the Sky Cube right now for just a, a small part of Nisso. So Nisso is the. Oh, the lighting is not very good here. Lighting's coming from the outside, I'll just walk backwards. So Nisso is the new student. It's a new International Student Scholars Orientation. So today is like day seven of the program and it's just basically the part of the program where all of the international students come together just to get to know each other first before getting to know like the Americans. And I'm walking here with my roommate, Hua. And uh, we're walking to the SkyCube right now and they're gonna give us some debriefing and then we're gonna join the rest of the uh, Americans for the, like the rest of the domestic students as well for the normal orientation. Um, the normal orientation it's, um, I don't keep walking this way. The rest of the orientation is also where all of the domestic students are coming to Harvey Mudd as well. So it's pretty big for them and really exciting. And uh, yeah. Wow. Look at these. Thank you. Hi. I don't know. I never thought you'd know that one. Huh? Okay, let me give some other. Hello. I have my office. So we just finished the new international student scholar orientation, and now we're heading over to join the. Okay, okay, this is right, okay. Uh, so we just finished the international orientation and we're gonna join the SI students. Oh, oh sorry, literally everyone, we're gonna join everyone. So we'll see you there. Just wave. Hello, guys. Get it, you're okay. Oh, I don't know what to say. Our wooden stick, our wooden stick. Okay, so they just told us that this number and this like animal thing is the distance to London measured in giraffes. So some of my friends live in India, they have like 1.5 times 10 to the power of like 8 and then seashells to India. So like it takes that many seashells to get from here to India. Uh -huh. What does yours say, Yang? What does yours say? Uh, mine says... 2.59 times 10 to the power of 7 point pellets to Suzhou, where I'm from. Look at Michael, Michael's that unbothered. What? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I'm so excited. They also took us to bowling and a theme park called Knott's Berry Farm. The bowling was so fun. I did a thing where like you get a strike between your legs and at the theme park they give us this drink that allows us to have unlimited refills or whenever we want. Um, yeah, all throughout the day. Uh, and they also rented out this small place where they spoke about the oh, mud law, so the history behind some students at mud, some past mud alumni. And yes, there was one crazy story where there was someone who cr created meth, meth in bathtubs, which is why there are no bathtubs at Harvey Mud. Oh, 
Then the upperclassmen put on a play for us and they just sang for us, which was so cute. And we had like this weird parody of like this song. Mud is such a weird school, but I just love it. And then they ended it off with things at the plat, which is one of the buildings, and like this video That's compilation key. of all the students and the fun. But yeah, this has been my Harvey Mud experience. If you're researching Harvey Mud and you want to come, come. It is the right choice. <laughs> bye bye.